Welcome back to my channel. I'm Sam, Kermit Von Frog 12. Kermit Von Frog on Twitter and Instagram, but you know, whatever. Hey, I have a haul for y'all. That's for Joy. Haul for y'all. Um, actually, it's a drugstore haul, um, and it's Walgreens. I picked up some things. Wanna see? I'll show ya. Got a, another bottle of a nail polish remover. I use the acetone kind because I don't like to wait. I like it fast. All right, and I got another can of the La Roche-Posay thermal spray. It started being carried at Target and it started being carried at Walgreens. I was really excited to see it. I still have quite a bit left in the first can. Oh. But I didn't want to be without it, so I got it. There you go. Yay! Oh, you see that refreshment? That was nice. Tap, 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 tap. Okay, um, let's see. Let's start with... I got this polish from Sally Hansen's. It's called Satin Glam in Taffeta. And it's a plummy shade, which I normally don't pick up, but I feel like I want to for fall. And it kind of reminds me of Radiant Orchid a little, too. But it's not shiny. It's, um, it's supposed to kind of mattify and be satin looking. I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know. Right now I've got polka dots on my fingers, but I'm looking forward to doing that one. And then I picked up three Wet n Wild polishes, all in pretty much fall shades. Let's see, this one is Under Your Spell, and it's this duochrome ruby red that I think I'm going to just enjoy fully. And then I got a deep deep aubergine or eggplant color in Disturbia. Can you see that? And I think it does have shimmer in it. Yeah, you can see there's shimmer in it. Um, I was hoping it was cream formulation, but what are you going to do? Anywho, it's a nice deep dark color. I think it might make it show up purpler with the sheen on it because in the sunlight you'll see that little refl reflect words. Reflect. And I got this dark mauve uh, Haze of Love, it's called. And it looks pretty dark against my hand, but actually it would go really well with this lip. Keep that in mind, Sam. <laughs> so I got those four polishes. They were really inexpensive, and I think they had a buy one, get one half off thing going on with Wet n Wild. Actually, this one was $5.99 for $6. I was like, that's a little bottle of nail polish, and it's six dollars. But I got it anyway, because I wanted to try the color and the texture. I got three lip products. One is by Jordana, and it's in the Lip Out Loud. And it's like a holographic pink um, sparkle gloss. It's called ASAP. ASAP. Glitter. Mmm, watermelon. Anywho, I just thought it was pretty. It reminded me of the... Uh, Bare Minerals one that they have that's like holographic and I still haven't purchased because I'm lazy. <laughs> but I wanted to get that. Um, so I got this one to try it out. I love the smell. Not sticky. Tastes good. I got this lipstick from Wet n Wild in the Fergie line called Pagan Angel. Isn't that fun? And it's, it's a black lipstick. So I thought that would be either cool just to deepen up certain lipsticks or freak my mom out and go like, let's go to church. <laughs> Probably not. And another Revlon lipstick because I am addicted and I used to wear this one all the time. This one's in Toast of New York and actually I thought this was a color I wore all the time in the 90s and I thought that, you know, I've been looking at all the uh, style magazines and stuff and the 90s makeup look is kind of coming back and I was like, well, I know what lipsticks to collect. <laughs> it's a um, very warm kind of terracotta but it has a mauvey undertone to it. And I, it just, it's like a deep orange, that, because you know I love to wear orange lipstick, so. I got that for myself, and I had a coupon. I had a coupon. I'm pretty excited about the next four things that I picked up. And I don't know if it's because of the packaging, but there were six or seven styles, and these are all eyelashes. Can you see me? And this one is in, uh, what they call this one? This is called Kitty. Can you see the lash? It's a uh, kind of a corseted, fluttery lash that has um, tapered ends, and I love Kiss lashes. Am I wearing Kiss today? No, I'm wearing Ardell today. But I love Kiss lashes, lashes and isn't that a cute package? The masquerade. 
Um, that was $3.99 and it includes glue. I also picked up one that, oh, it's so cute. This one's called Fairy. I see you. They actually designed this package so if you're in the store and you can see through the, you really can't see that well through it. But you're supposed to be able to try them on like this, but it, it doesn't work. I just thought it was cute packaging, but these ones have, um, they're longest in the center, they're fluttery and tapery, I don't know if you can see them that well. Um, looked really gorgeous. I also picked up, this one is in Princess. Hello. And <clears throat> these ones are really, really fluttery and uneven. Longest on the outside edge, thicker in the center, taper out very finely to the end. They look gorgeous. And, oh, sorry, got polish. These ones I just thought were super fun, and you'll see why. They're called Angel. Can you see those beads? There's beads on the end. It's a corseted style lash, longer on the outside. These are hardest for me to wear, the corseted ones. But those little beads, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at little beads. I thought, oh, those are so cute. I want beads on my lashes. I'd feel so gaga. Okay, and finally, I've got a collection of makeup that I have only tried one thing from this line before, and it was their eyebrow pencil. Um, I'm seeing if I can pull that out without getting lost in my eyebrow collection. And apparently I found it. Okay, see, it's number seven. It has a little eyebrow. I've had this forever. It's a great pencil. Use it. I use it a lot. Um, so I went to number seven, and they were having a great sale. Buy one, get one half off. 25% uh, off all of it. So I went and did... I picked up a full face. And I got the uh, Lift and Illuminate Foundation in cool vanilla. They had samplers out so I could test the product. Isn't that a gorgeous package? And look, a pump. I think I paid $8 total for the foundation. Normally it's like $15, so I got a really good deal on that. I'm looking forward to trying it because I, I love foundation and this package is just beautiful. You get 30 milliliters or one fluid ounce. So to go along with that, I picked up their concealer in Radiant Glow, and this one is in number two, and it's a white pen that you click, and then you get the product out. So I'm, I'm excited to try these things because I really want to like them. I do. I do. I really want to like them. What else did I pick up? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I got the compact powder, and the packaging is stunning. Look at that. Isn't that... I just really kind of passed by number seven too many times, but look how beautiful. It's a very high-end feeling. And it's a powder, compact, with a gorgeous mirror. It comes with a little crappy pad, but... I'm excited to try it. It just feels really luxe. It feels really beautiful. I picked up a blush. This one's in Honey. They had other rosier shades, but... I just really liked the way this one looked. There's no odor. I just, I don't know if you can see it. It's very buttery, so I'm excited to try it. I'll be doing a full review, uh, first impressions, face look with this collection soon, okay? <laughs> I also picked up, what's next? Oh, I picked up um, two liners. I picked up this uh, green liner in it's Stay Perfect Amazing Eyes Pencil. Long wearing and silky smooth pencil for color and definition. And it has one end with the smoogies tip, and then this is the color end. And it's a, just a deep foresty with a tinge of emerald and a whole lot of black. Because that kind of reads black, doesn't it? So I, I, I like the way it looks, kind of peacocky. Um, excited to try that. Now, I opened this product already, and I already know where to go that I'm disappointed in it. And it's this liquid liner, and I opened it up to swatch it last night because I'm always interested in the liners. And it's a brush liner with a gel formula, but it skips horribly. So I don't know if I got a bad one. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to try it and see if I can make it work. If not, I just I had kept the receipt. It says, do not use if I is injured, infected, or irritated. It's the first time I've seen that in a white. And yeah, I got that in liquid black. I got an eyeshadow quad, again with the packaging. Isn't that beautiful? You can see the number seven imprinted on there. 
and I got just dumping the little little thing the green one in green glade stay perfect quad and they look really pretty that one got stuff on it and I'm excited it's got like a goldish they're all sh they all have satiny shimmer in them there's a like a khaki an army green a sagey army green and a yellowish cream highlight gorgeous packaging again I'll be doing a look with that <laughs> all together now I got the mascara in stay perfect long-lasting volume and it says remove mascara with warm water that it says great looking lashes that last all throughout whatever you, the day throws at you then just washes away dip in a cotton pad with warm water and hold over lashes for 30 seconds and wipe away so I'm wondering is it one of those tubey mascaras has a very short plasticky applicator smells like fresh mascara this one says six months after opening so I'm excited to give that one a try right now I am loving my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes and I'm loving my Manga Eyes, Miss Manga and my Butterfly Eyes and I really like the benefits they're real so I'm having fun playing with some mascaras I did just did my empties and I had to get rid of a ton of them so I was like oh I can try new ones yay me and I got a lip pencil. Sharon Farrell has her own channel and she's a beautiful makeup artist. She's Irish and she lives in Australia and she loves this color. It's their lip pencil and this one's in nude and it is a beautiful lip. Oh, I love that color. Not nice. It's peachy pink. Perfect because I don't want it to be too pink because I am not pink. And then I picked a lip shade and I picked a pretty neutral one. This one's in bear. Can you read that? I can barely read that. Bear. Very pretty packaging again. Lux. And it, this one is really, really pretty. I think it's going to pair well with that lip liner and look nice on me. So that was my haul for y'all. Hey, Joy. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I look forward to putting these makeups on for you. So you can see what my first impressions and opinions are. Um, number seven has been in the U.S. for two years now, I believe, and I was pretty excited when it came. I know the first place I saw it was at Target when they got their boots, and then the number seven. And they have a great, great skincare line too. I use some of their things quite often. Anywho, um, thanks for stopping by to see what I bought. And I'll see you next time. And just remember, it ain't easy being green, but it sure is fun.